So China developed a new AI brain that is pretty similar to humans and is a hundred times faster than traditional AI models. So for a little bit of context, most people know what AMO standard AI chatbots are, but most people don't realize that these chatbots are basically energy vampires that according to some sources, there is still a debate on this, they're currently draining our planet dry. And I'm not trying to be dramatic here or stir up any debates, but apparently a recent report from MIT Technology Review, AI servers in the United States alone used between 53 to 76 terawatts hours of electricity in 2024. To put that into perspective, that's enough power to run over 7 million American homes for an entire year. And we're talking about just the United States. And here's the crazy part. Every time you ask ChatGPT a simple question, you're using about the same amount of energy as leaving a light bulb on for an hour. And when you ask it to generate an image, that's like running your microwave for 15 minutes. Now multiply that by the billions of queries happening every single day around the world. And this is where today's video comes in. What if I told you that a team of researchers just cracked the code on making AI thousands of times more efficient by copying how our actual brains work? Enter spiking brain. And trust me, this isn't just another incremental improvement. We are talking about a complete game changer that could revolutionize how we think about artificial intelligence. So what exactly is spiking brain? Think of it this way. Current AI models are like those old desktop computers from the 90s that would heat up your entire room and sound like a jet engine. Spiking brain is like if someone took that same computer and turned it into a smartphone that barely uses any battery while being way more powerful. The secret sauce here is that spiking brain works more like your actual brain instead of like a traditional computer. You see, when current AI processes information, it's constantly doing math on every single piece of data, even when most of that data is basically zeros or irrelevant information. It's like having a calculator that insists on calculating what zero times zero equals for every single operation. That is completely wasteful. Your brain, on the other hand, is way smarter than that. Neurons in your brain only fire or send signals when something actually important is happening. If there's nothing interesting going on, they just stay quiet. This is called event-driven processing, and it's incredibly efficient. Your brain runs on around about 20 watts of power. That's less than a light bulb, while being capable of things that current AI systems can only dream of. The researchers behind Spiking Brain figured out how to build AI that mimics this brain-like behavior. Instead of constantly crunching numbers on everything, spiking brain only activates when there's actually something worth processing. They call this spiking because the artificial neurons only spike or activate when needed, just like real neurons. But here's where it gets really wild. The team didn't just make their AI more brain-like. They also redesigned the fundamental architecture. Traditional AI uses what's called quadratic attention, which basically means the more text you give it, the exponentially harder it has to work. It's like having a conversation where every new word you say makes the entire conversation twice as difficult to follow. Spiking brain uses something called linear attention instead. This means no matter how long your input is, whether it's a tweet or an entire novel, the processing difficulty only increases proportionally, not exponentially. They combine this with a technique called mixture of experts, which is like having a team of specialists where the only relevant experts work on each problem while the others take a break. And the results are absolutely mind-blowing. The researchers created two versions, Spiking Brain 7B and Spiking Brain 76B. The 7 billion parameter model achieved over 100 times speed up when processing a really long text compared to traditional models. And get this, their spiking mechanism achieved 69% sparsity, which means that 69% of the computation was simply not needed and could be skipped entirely. To put this into real world terms, imagine if your phone battery lasted 69% longer, or if your laptop ran 100 times faster on long documents. That's the kind of improvement we're talking about here. So if we're going to be talking about AI tools, one of the AI tools that we definitely want to be talking about is Abacus AI's Deep Agent software. 
This is crazy because they've got many different use cases and a multi-agent framework that can help you do literally a billion different things. For example, they can actually help you create short form videos from a single prompt. You can see this entire video about Einstein explaining something was literally created from one prompt and the AI managed to do everything. It can also create AI apps that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis for absolutely anything you may need. For example, where this user builds an AI app with authentication where users can log in, select historical characters from any era and have LLM powered in-character conversations based on real historical context. And for those of you who want to do some super crazy data analysis, Deep Agent is able to use PDFs and extract financial metrics like EBITDA, profit margins, debt ratios, and is able to create this really cool interactive dashboard that you can use for whatever it may be. So if this sounds like something you'd want to use, definitely don't forget to check out the link in the description. And thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring the video. Now here's another fascinating angle to this story. The researchers didn't train Spiking Brain on NVIDIA GPUs, like basically everyone else in AI. Instead, they used something called Meta X hardware, which is basically China's answer to NVIDIA. This is actually a big deal because it shows that efficient AI development doesn't have to depend on one company's hardware monopoly. They managed to train their 76 billion parameter model on hundreds of Meta X GPUs for weeks without any crashes or stability issues. The 7B model achieved 23.4% model flops utilization, which is basically engineers speak for really good efficiency. And they did all of this while using only about 2% of the training data that traditional models typically need. But Spiking Brain isn't just some isolated research project. It's part of a massive wave of what scientists call neuromorphic computing. Basically, this is the idea that the future of AI lies in copying biology rather than throwing more computational power at problems. And just this year, we've seen major breakthroughs in neuromorphic computing from universities around the world. Cornell Tech partnered with BrainChip to offer neuromorphic computing courses. Purdue University got $32 million to develop brain-inspired computing systems. And companies like Intel and IBM are pouring resources into neuromorphic computing chips that work like biological brains. Hi. At Intel, we are exploring a hyper-efficient solution inspired by the brain called neuromorphic computing. Brains use very little energy, yet can solve complex problems while learning in real time. Unlike today's AI systems, the brain relies on sparse and adaptable networks of neurons. By computing only when and where it needs to, brains achieve greater efficiency and faster response times. These brain-inspired networks have been implemented in Intel's latest neuromorphic research chip, Luihi 2. In labs around the world, Luihi has demonstrated orders of magnitude gains in power performance over traditional processors. As one researcher from ATOS recently pointed out, the current approach to AI is simply unsustainable. We're talking about unbearable energy and water consumption, as well as land use. The International Energy Agency projects that data center and electricity demand could be more than double in the next few years. And we're already at the point where data centers use about 1.5% of global electricity. Meanwhile, companies are making some pretty desperate moves to feed their AI's energy hunger. Elon Musk's AI training center in Memphis was caught using dozens of methane gas generators that might be violating the Clean Air Act just to supplement the power grid. And Microsoft is even considering bringing nuclear reactors back online to power their AI data centers. This is where brain-inspired computing like Spiking Brain becomes not just interesting, but absolutely critical. Nature spent billions of years optimizing the brain for efficiency, and we're finally getting smart enough to copy those solutions instead of brute forcing our way through problems. The spiking brain research also shows us something that's important. You don't need to sacrifice performance for efficiency. Their models performed comparably to much larger traditional models while using a tiny fraction of the energy and data. The 7 billion parameter model recovered nearly 90% of the base model's performance across benchmarks, reaching levels comparable to other advanced models. They even tested spiking brain on mobile processors, deploying a compressed 1B parameter version on a CPU-based mobile framework. The results was that it was an incredible speed up. 
And this means that your smartphone could potentially run sophisticated AI that currently requires massive data centers. But let's talk about what this means for the average person. Right now, when you use AI, you're essentially renting time on massive power hungry computers sitting in data centers around the world. With technologies like Spiking Brain, we could be looking at a future where your devices run sophisticated AI locally without needing constant internet connections or contributing to massive energy consumption. Imagine having a conversation with an AI assistant that's as smart as GPT-4, but runs entirely on your phone using barely any battery. Or picture AI-powered apps that can process hundreds of hours of video or thousands of documents without your laptop even getting warm. That's the kind of future that brain-inspired computing is pointing towards. The researchers behind Spiking Brain also demonstrated something called spike visualization. Essentially, they can show you exactly when and how their artificial neurons are firing. It's like having a window into the AI's thought process in real time. And this kind of transparency could be huge for AI safety and understanding, especially as these systems become more powerful. There's also a pretty cool hardware angle here. The spiking mechanism they developed can work with specialized neuromorphic chips that are designed to be extremely energy efficient. Companies like Brainchip, Intel with their low high chips and IBM with their True North processors are already building hardware specifically designed for spiking neural networks. And these chips work fundamentally differently from traditional processors. Instead of constantly calculating on a fixed schedule, they only use power when artificial neurons actually need to communicate, just like real brains. Some experimental deployments have shown energy savings of up to 89% while maintaining over 95% computational accuracy. And what's really exciting is that this technology is moving from research labs into real world applications surprisingly quickly. We're seeing neuromorphic computing being used in every everything from autonomous drones that can fly using brain inspired image processing to smart sensors that can operate for a year on a single battery. The timing is perfect because we're hitting what researchers call the war of traditional computing improvements. Moore's law. The idea that computer chips get twice as fast every two years is basically dead. We can't just keep making transistors smaller and smaller and expect magical performance improvements anymore. But biology shows us that there's another path forward. Your brain has about 86 billion neurons, each connected to thousands of thousands of others, creating a network that's incredibly parallel and efficient. And current AI tries to simulate this on traditional computers, but it's like trying to simulate an ocean by calculating the position of every water molecule individually. Neuromorphic computing like spiking brain takes a different approach. Instead of simulating brain-like behavior, it actually implements brain-like principles directly into hardware and software. And the result is systems that are not just more efficient, but also capable of learning and adapting in real time. And here's something that might blow your mind. The human brain performs about 20 petaflops per watt of energy. That's an absolutely insane level of efficiency. And current AI systems are nowhere close to this. But with advances like spiking brain, we're starting to see a path towards brain level efficiency in artificial systems. The researchers also tackled another huge problem in AI, the context length limitation. Most current AI models can only remember a few thousand words at a time. And if you're having a long conversation or working with a big document, they essentially forget the beginning by the time they get to the end. The spiking brain's linear attention mechanism means it can handle much longer context without this memory problem. They successfully tested it on sequences of up to 4 million tokens. And that's roughly the equivalent to about 8 full-length novels. And because of the linear scaling, the processing time and memory usage don't explode like they do with traditional models. This could revolutionize how we interact with AI. Instead of having to break up long documents or conversations into chunks, you could potentially feed the entire book to AI and have it understand and discuss the entire thing coherently. Or imagine an AI that remembers every conversation you've ever had with it, allowing for much more personalized and contextual interactions. Now, currently, we are currently getting these things today, but it will be interesting to see if those advancements are spread much more across the industry. The NEG implications also are staggering. If spiking brains approach became the standard for AI development, 
we could potentially reduce the energy consumption of AI by orders of magnitude. Instead of AI contributing to climate change, it could become a tool for fighting it. Speaking of fighting climate change, there's another angle here that's worth mentioning. More efficient AI doesn't just mean lower energy bills. It means we can actually deploy AI in places where energy is scarce or expensive. And this could democratize access to advanced AI technologies for developing countries or remote areas. Spiking Brain's team also demonstrated that their approach also works with quantization, basically using lower precision numbers to represent information. They showed that combining their spiking mechanism with 8-bit integer quantization resulted in a negligible performance loss while dramatically reducing energy consumption. And in some tests, they achieved energy efficiency improvements of up to 43 times compared to traditional floating point operations. But perhaps the most important aspect of this research is that it's open source. The researchers publish their code and models publicly, which means that other researchers and companies can build on their work immediately. This is how scientific progress accelerates, when breakthrough discoveries are shared rather than hoarded. And we're already seeing follow-up research building on spiking brains innovations. Teams around the world are exploring how to combine spiking neural networks with other efficiency techniques, how to optimize them for different types of hardware, and how to scale them up to even larger models. The neuromorphic computing field is exploding right now. And just in the past year, we've seen major funding announcements. New neuromorphic chips are reaching the market, and even universities are starting to offer specialized courses in brain inspired computing. And Nature recently published a comprehensive roadmap for scaling up neuromorphic computing, written by 23 leading researchers in the field. And what's particularly exciting is that we're seeing convergence between neuroscience research and AI development. As we build better brain-inspired AI systems, we're also gaining new insights into how biological brains actually work. It's a virtuous cycle where each field advances the other. And the implications go way beyond just making AI more efficient. Brain-inspired AI computing could lead to AI systems that are more adaptable, more capable, more capable of learning from limited data, just like we do. Current AI systems are pretty, pretty brittle. They can be fueled by tiny changes that no human would ever notice, and brain-inspired systems tend to be much more robust to this kind of adversarial input. And there's also the potential for AI systems that can learn continuously throughout their entire lifetime, rather than needing to be retrained from scratch every time we want to update them. This could lead to AI systems that truly grow and adapt with their users over time. Looking ahead, when we think about this in depth, the researchers behind Spiking Brain are already working on even more advanced versions. They're exploring how to scale up to trillion parameter models while maintaining those same efficiency benefits, how to integrate their approach with other cutting edge AI techniques, and how to deploy these systems on everything from smartphones to supercomputers. And the broader trend towards brain inspired computing is also accelerating. We're seeing major tech companies invest heavily into this research governments funding brain-inspired computer initiatives, and new startups emerging with novel approaches to implementing biological principles in artificial systems. 